We will soon see just how meaningful that mentality can be with more than one group effort in a time of great need. Tomorrow will be an entire day of outreach between Wish TV and our Hoosiers Helping Hoosiers Drive and what the Colts and Pacers are doing right now to raise money for community centers. Now with me together, but safely apart, are Steve Campbell with the Colts and Danny Lopez from the Pacers. Thank you both for your time. Thank you, pleasure. Hey, Steve, let's start with you. Mr. Ursay tweeted about this partnership earlier this week. People can donate until noon tomorrow. Explain why community centers are in dire need right now. Well, you know, we're, we're used to thinking, uh, you know, in emergency situations of our first responders, um, rightfully so, as police officers, firefighters, uh, uh, servicemen and women. But the, the, the front lines have changed in this battle against COVID-19, where you have uh, letter carriers and delivery men and women, and of course our community centers, um, who are uh, doctors and nurses can't of course f forget medical per personnel. But the community centers of Indianapolis have been working in this uh, in this city for decades, but now they're on the front lines of feeding, caring, supporting uh, the the people who are most in need during this time. So we wanted to do uh, do something to step up and help them uh, when they need it the most. And there are 12 of them in need here. And Danny, there is a major match associated with donations. If $200,000, the goal is reached, tell us what will happen. Yeah, so between the Colts and Pacer Sports and Entertainment, we'll be matching the funds that are, that are, uh, that are raised and providing $35,000 to each one of these community centers to help them in their efforts, to help them uh, provide service and resources to the families most in need. Of course, the Pacers organization is one to be abruptly met with extra time these days as the crisis happened in the middle of the season. The team has been has really shown giving back to the community has been a priority. Yeah, I mean, this is obviously uh, central, again, not just to the Pacers, but also to the Fever, to the Mad Ants, the entire organization at Pacers Sports and Entertainment. Uh, you know, as a cornerstone of this community uh, and also of this state, I mean, this is what we this is what we do. So it's about direct resources back to organizations just like this. Uh, it's about providing the right type of information so that people know where to get those those resources that are available to them. And it's also about just having a little bit of of fun uh, and and getting people's spirits up. So uh, participating in the NBA together campaign, obviously the in this together campaign that you referenced at the outset, and then also just things like some of our players. Um, you know, doing dribbling drills on, on their social media. Those types of things, I think, help to raise people's spirits and also give parents something uh, to do with their children who are, who are at home. And, Steve, for you, where does the passion fall for the Colts? Why is this so important right now? Well, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Ursay, uh, Jim Ursay and the Ursay family, you know, this is, this, is, this is our home. This is their home. This is, uh, you know, uh, we have Indiana and Indianapolis in our name for a reason because this is the, the place that we, that we love to live and serve. And so when people are in need, you know, we, we feel it's, it's, it's our responsibility to step up. Um, sports has the amazing ability, uh, unlike anything else in society, to bring people together. And so we, we, we use that platform, the Colts and the Pacers use that platform all the time to bring people together. Uh, and, and now is one of those times when we need people to be in this together. And tomorrow, I mentioned Wish TV's Hoosiers, Helping Hoosiers. Both of your organizations are contributing to our efforts here to raise money for hospitality workers out of jobs right now. What are the Colts offering for people to bid on? Oh, well, we'll have lots of different, uh, lots of different opportunities for, for, for people. You know, we generally have signed football, signed autographs, signed jerseys, things like that, things that you can contribute to, uh, things that we can contribute to the cause. But, you know, it's, it's, it's things that, are, again, like Danny said, to brighten, brighten people's moods, get them upbeat, and, uh, you know, hopefully get them ready for a season of football this fall. And, Danny, we're showing a, a Vic jersey right now. That's something that a lot of people might have their eyes on. Yeah, absolutely. And again, anything that we can do to help something like this, I mean, this is such a, an important component of our of our workforce here in, in central Indiana and really throughout the state. And, you know, these are unprecedented times and people are feeling it and anything that we can be doing as an organization to help. That's what that's what we're here for. All right. Well, I do uh, thank you both so much for your efforts in joining us and partnering with this and what you're doing as well. Again, Hoosiers Helping Hoosiers launches tomorrow morning with daybreak at four in the morning. And you can donate to the Colton Pacers Community Center campaign until noon tomorrow. 918 right now. We're